Are you ready for something exciting? Follow us back in time to Richard Byrd's iconic exploration of the icy landscape of Antarctica. In this daring adventure, the brave explorer discovered some absolutely fascinating places previously unknown to man. You see, Antarctica is located in one of the most remote parts of the world, inhabited by only a few brave scientists who only live there for research purposes, so explorations of Antarctica are very limited. This is why Richard Byrd's findings remain one of our earliest glimpses into the secrets that lay hidden within this icy wonderland. Join us as we explore 15 discoveries made by Admiral Richard Byrd in the Antarctica Expedition. Number 15. Dormant Volcanoes While exploring the vast icy landscape of Antarctica during his legendary expedition, Rear Admiral Richard Byrd discovered something absolutely stunning. In a remote corner of the continent lay a massive dormant volcano. But this was no ordinary volcano. Mount Sidley is regarded as the highest dormant volcano in all of Antarctica. Byrd named this monumental masterpiece after Mabel E. Sidley, the daughter of Williams Horlock, who was a huge contributor to the expedition. Mount Sidley, which is mainly covered by snow, stands at over 14,000 feet. Despite its massive height, very little is known about Mount Sidley compared to what we know about Mount Erebus, another massive volcano known as the second highest volcano in Antarctica. Together with five other volcanic mountains, Mount Sidley forms what we know as the Executive Committee Range of Marie Bird Land. But this is not even the most exciting part of Bird's discovery. Are you ready for what comes next? Make sure you stick till the end of the video because the discoveries in this video will absolutely blow your mind. Number 14. Hidden Nazi Colony in order to understand this next discovery, we need to revisit why Admiral Byrd was sent on this brave expedition to one of the most remote places in the world. You see, back in the day, the American government had its suspicion concerning the existence of a secret Nazi colony in Antarctica. In order to verify these claims, Rear Admiral Richard Byrd was commissioned to head an expedition into the icy wasteland. But did he discover a Nazi settlement, or were those stories just idle tales spun by men with wild imaginations? Well, there is no straight way to answer this question. By official records, no Nazi settlement was discovered in Antarctica during the Byrd's expedition, but there are fanciful stories of lost diaries and Nazi submarines as part of the discoveries, which were kept hush-hush for unknown reasons. So, did Byrd and his team really find a Nazi colony in Antarctica or not? Quite frankly, nobody can really say for sure. It all depends on what you choose to believe. Number 13. Thriving Plant Life When you think of Antarctica, what probably comes to mind is a barren icy landscape where absolutely no plant life can survive. While this isn't far from the truth because Antarctica isn't really teeming with plant life, there are still a couple of botanical specimens thriving in this harsh landscape. During Rear Admiral Byrd's expedition, a couple of botanists on the team discovered a couple of plant specimens, which contributed greatly to our knowledge of the species that endure the harsh temperatures and relentless drought. Carl Eklund and Jackie Perkins, who were the lead botanists in the expedition, were able to collect specimens of 24 different plants, 15 bryophytes and lichens, as well as 9 species of algae. Over 70 specimens were sent to the Smithsonian Institution and subsequently added to the United States National Herbarium. These highly adaptable species grow within cracks in the massive blocks of ice, and many of them also find the perfect opportunity to proliferate within the porous rocks, which shields them from the blistering Antarctic winds. Number 12. The Hollow Earth Theory What was the greatest geological discovery made by Richard Byrd during his legendary Antarctic expeditions? Yes, the Hollow Earth Theory. But what exactly is the Hollow Earth Theory, you ask? Grab your writing materials, because it's time for a little science lesson. The theory of the hollow earth postulates that the earth is entirely hollow, or that it contains a significant interior space. This fantastic theory has often been featured in the folklore and mythology of many ancient cultures. Believers in this theory believe that the crust of the earth is the outer shell, and embedded within this shell is what is known as the center of gravity. This mysterious point in the Earth's crust experiences a reversal in the gravitational effect. What this means is that below this line, objects are pulled away from the center, but above that line, objects are pulled towards the center of the planet. Here's the craziest part of this theory. Believers in this theory also postulate that below the Earth's surface, there exists a completely different world, complete with its own sun and continents. 
Although no scientific evidence has been presented towards proving the credibility of this theory, therefore it cannot be stated as facts. So you'd better accept this one with a pinch of salt. Number 11. Journey to the Center of the Earth You've probably seen the movie, but Rear Admiral Richard Byrd's description of this mysterious location differs a bit from the Hollywood depictions. Imagine a lush green land perfectly tucked away beneath the icy landscapes of Antarctica. Sounds like a fantasy, right? Well, that's the exact account given by Byrd during his mysterious flight into the purported center of the Earth. According to Byrd, this portion of the Earth was inhabited by beings described as thin gray aliens. These extraterrestrial beings enjoy a lush environment beneath the icy desolate surface. This vegetation and abundance of plants and animals all stand in contrast to the barren icy surface. It is, however, important to note that no scientific studies have confirmed the existence of such a location, nor has any verifiable evidence been tendered to confirm the credibility of these claims. Number 10. The Gaping Hole But now the big question is, if this hypothetical center of the Earth is really an existent location, how did Rear Admiral Richard Byrd locate it? More importantly, how can we access it now? According to the tales of this explorer, this mythical location is accessible by a gaping hole in the middle of Antarctica. This open crater was discovered during Byrd's historic flight over Antarctica. While exploring this landscape, Admiral Byrd flew into a mysterious opening he observed in the middle of the Earth and found himself in a realm that defied all his understanding of the geological structure of the Earth. This location, which has been described above, was inhabited by mysterious non-humans whose living conditions differed greatly from the lives of those living on the surface. Are these theories far-fetched tales from an overactive imagination? Or is there really a hidden realm in the Antarctic landscape? Once again, that depends totally on who you choose to believe. Number 9. Thurston Island Encouraged by the success of his previous voyage to Antarctica, Admiral Richard Byrd embarked on another daring adventure to the unforgiving landscape to unearth more amazing discoveries. But unlike his previous expeditions, this time he had presidential backing. Franklin D. Roosevelt, who had taken a liking to Byrd's amazing discoveries in the Antarctica landscape, assigned him the head of a third expedition, which took place between 1939 and 1941. With funding and backing from the federal government, nothing was off-limits for this explorer. It was during this third expedition that he discovered a previously unknown island in the continent, Thurston Island. The discovery of this western island significantly reduced the length of the unexplored coast of the continent of Antarctica. Number 8. The Marie Bird Land Now we head to one of the most remote and isolated parts of this continent, to a tundra known as the Marie Bird Land. This vast expanse features ice-free land patchily distributed, ranging from small offshore islands to remote inland nunataks, which are permanently ice-free mountaintops emerging from the ice. This region also features an area traditionally referred to as Edward VII Land, which is located next to the western edge of the Ross Ice Shelf. Even though this region is quite remote, several expeditions have been undertaken, giving us a glimpse into the biodiversity of this ecological region. What's more, Marie Bird Land is home to about 9 moss species and 80 species of lichen. However, the discovery of invertebrates in this area remains quite elusive. So, how did this tundra get its name? Well, when Admiral Richard Bird found this area during his 1929 aerial exploration of Antarctica, he chose to name it after his wife Marie. So, you see where the name comes from, how cool is that? Number 7. Nazi Flying Saucers since the 1950s, rumors about advanced Nazi aircraft hidden in Antarctica had been flying around. These rumors were even more accentuated by reports of UFO sightings in the area at the time, giving credibility to the story of the existence of a last battalion at the time. So, how does this connect to Admiral Byrd's expedition? Let's dive into that a little bit. It is believed that a couple of aircraft lost during Byrd's expedition were shot down by this advanced Nazi weaponry. But in reality, only one aircraft crashed during the expedition, and it was due to a whiteout. These Nazi flying saucers rumors quickly became a mix of both extraterrestrial aircraft and some top-secret Nazi technology of supposed lost prototypes and flight tests. However, none of these rumors have been confirmed to be true. Many of the weapons purported as UFOs were actually never developed or deployed, and in essence, they were a waste of resources and technical expertise, resulting in the deaths of many slave laborers. Number 6. First Flight Over the North Pole 
On May 9, 1926, Admiral Byrd and Navy Chief Aviation Pilot Floyd Bennett fired up their Fokker F Villa 3M tri motor monoplane and embarked on one of the most ambitious flights in the history of exploration. Their monumental flight over the North Pole became one of the most important moments in the life of this explorer, as he and Bennett became the first men to reach the North Pole. After lifting off at Spitsbergen, the flight lasted about 15 hours and 57 minutes. 13 minutes was spent circling at their farthest north, which is the most northerly latitude ever reached by explorers. This journey took both Byrd and Bennett through a distance of 1,535 miles, taking them to the North Pole in a staggering trip that made Byrd a national hero. After he returned to the United States, Congress passed a special act promoting him to the rank of commander. Floyd Bennett was also awarded the Medal of Honor and subsequently promoted to the Warrant Officer Tank of Machinist. Both men were also presented with Tiffany Cross versions of the Medal of Honor by President Calvin Coolidge on March 5, 1927. Number 5. Saltiest Water on the Planet The frozen landscape of Antarctica is home to many wondrous discoveries, but one of the most fascinating features of this frozen continent is, surprisingly, not frozen. Don Juan Pond, a shallow hypersaline lake located in the western end of Wright Valley, Victoria Land, Antarctica. But what's so special about this body of water? Well, Don Juan Pond stands in contrast with the surrounding frozen landscape because regardless of how cold it gets in this region, this water remains liquid. So, what is the science behind this unusual occurrence? The secret is in the salt concentration of this pond. A high salinity of 33.8% causes a significant depression in the freezing point of the water. This allows the pond to remain in liquid form even at temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius. This unusual condition makes Don Juan Pond the saltiest lake on the Antarctic continent and even in the entire world. Although the lake is pretty small, measuring about 980 feet in length, 330 feet in width, and 3 feet in depth, the remarkable quality makes it stand out from all other water bodies in the area. The area around Don Juan Pond is also covered with sodium chloride and calcium chloride salts that precipitate as the water evaporates. Number 4. Rare Lava Lake Did you know that many volcanoes on Earth don't look exactly like what you see in the movies? Although popular Hollywood depictions feature volcanoes filled with a bubbling lava lake, this isn't always the case. In reality, only 8 of the 1,500 volcanoes are filled with sizzling hot lava. One of these marvels, Mount Michael, is located on Saunders Island, part of a remote volcanic chain known as the South Sandwich Islands. Although the mountainside is covered by snow, inside this massive rock formation lies a persistent lake of molten rock, the eighth ever discovered on the planet. What's more? Because of the remote location of Mount Michael, very few explorations into the volcanic mountain have been conducted. It has rarely been visited at the bottom and no one has ever gotten to the summit. Temperature observed within this volcano ranges from 989 and 1,279 degrees Celsius. Number 3. Manhattan-sized Iceberg The iceberg that sank the Titanic is probably the most famous iceberg in the world, but this one you're about to see may soon break that record. This massive block of ice, which scientists have designated as A-76, broke away from Antarctica's Rony Ice Shelf into the Weddell Sea, thus becoming the largest iceberg afloat in the entire world. How big is this iceberg, you ask? Its surface area is about 4,320 square kilometers, and it measures 175 kilometers in length and 25 kilometers in width. To put that into perspective, this giant ice slab is four times the size of New York. Now, that's massive. While many, many quickly point fingers at climate change as the culprit behind this kind of dramatic breakage in the ice structure, such occurrences can be quite natural. Ice sheets often grow to a point where they can no longer support their weight. At this point, a significant chunk of the ice breaks off, leaving the ice sheet to continue its growth process. Before A76 stole the crown, the largest iceberg in the world was another enormous block of ice, which is also floating in the Weddell Sea. This one, designated as A23A, spans about 3,380 sqkm. Number 2. Dry Valleys Would you believe that the frozen landscape of Antarctica is home to one of the world's most extreme deserts? The McMurdo Dry Valleys are a row of snow-free valleys located within Victoria Land, 
west of McMurdo Sound in Antarctica. Here's the most interesting part. The rocks found in the McMurdo Valley are granites and gneisses with loose gravel covering the ground. This is one of the driest places on the planet. And you should know that the McMurdo Valley has not seen rain for nearly 2 million years. Now that's remarkable. Standing in sharp contrast to the frozen landscape, the McMurdo Valley is one of the most extreme deserts in the world, and no living organism has been found in the permafrost located here to date, save for some bacteria specimens. Some prevalent features of this fascinating region include Lake Vita and the Onyx River, known as the longest river in Antarctica. Number 1. Mysterious Hole As the effects of climate change bite deeper into the icy landscape of Antarctica, scientists have discovered a mysterious hole, larger than Maryland. Scientists believe that this gaping hole was formed as a result of ice shifting as our planet gets warmer and warmer. What's more? Dramatic changes in Antarctica, such as the reappearance of this mysterious hole after 42 years, have always been an object of worry for scientists. You see, holes without ice or land don't usually make their way into the busy Antarctic region, so researchers are keeping a close eye on this one. To make matters worse, this hole seems to be the largest icebreak ever observed in the region in almost a decade. The hole, which spans a whopping 13,000 square miles in size, is projected to grow even larger as the ice melts and moves. As we ponder on the effects of these dramatic shifts in our climatic conditions and the impact on our planet, let us advocate for significant changes in regulation and laws that will reduce the biting effects of climate change on our planet. Thanks for watching. While you are here, click the video on the screen to watch more amazing content.